Hey my lovelies, my name is Jane and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a load of different makeup to try out, so I thought, well, I was going to put it on my face anyway this morning before I went out, so I thought I might as well set up, record it and share along with you. So I've already gone in with my primer, which is the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Primer, which you all know I love this one. It's really sticky, really tacky beautiful this is my second pot plus i've gone through a mini it's that good so for foundation today we're going to go in with the essence hydro hero 24 hour hydrating tinted cream and this one's got 88 percent natural ingredients which is this one here I do have two shades so because i was because I was darker in the summer when I first bought this one and I thought, you know what, if I get another lighter one, I can mix them and get hopefully the perfect shade. We will see. So the shades I've got is 20 some beige and 05 natural ivory. I'm going to chuck some of the natural ivory on first just to see how pale my skin is at the moment, whether I can get away with it on its own or whether we're going to mix some. So we're going to chuck that on. No, still too pale. That's fine. We'll chuck a bit on. It's probably a bit too much, but hey ho, we'll blend it out anyway. So I'm only going to add a touch of the darker shade in because I've learnt from my other foundation that <laughs> if I chuck it in too much, it does get too dark. Oop, that's it. Dropping it everywhere already. Just going to go in then with my trusty Morphe Beauty Blender and blend that one out. I haven't worn this one in a long time, but I remember liking it because it's sort of more of a sort of light to medium coverage. And for the summer months, well, even for now, to be fair, you know, I do prefer something a bit like that. I say my skin's getting a bit older. Wow, I did put too much on. <laughs> it's all right. We can work with it. So yeah, like I say, as my skin's getting older, I do prefer something that's a little bit lighter on my skin. Otherwise it all sets in your fine lines and your wrinkles and I don't want any of that. But blending out really well. And so I do remember liking this one, but I've just forgotten about it. You know what it's like, too many products, you forget what you've got. But that is looking really, really nice. Oh, there's my cat shouting in the background as usual. He's always got a lot to say. He wants to play. And my oldest cat, he must, we're not sure how old he is, but he's got to be about 14. He don't want to play. Now Gideon's just shouting the odds at him. That's it, chuck that over there. Blend what's left on my sponge down because I think that was quite a good colour actually. I did good. There you go, just gonna pat that down a bit. But yeah, I think uh, I'll mix about the right amount for a change. You hear him? <laughs> Bless him. He's a big baby, he really is. Okay, so that is looking really nice. And as you can see, it's got a bit of glow to it, but not overly glowy. And that's really nice. You can still see my skin peeping through. And I know this is really cheap and affordable. I will leave prices because I can't remember the price offhand. But I know it was really, really cheap. I'd heard such good things about it. And I thought, do you know what? We're going to give it a go. Okay, folks. So for eyeshadow today, it's a brand that I don't normally pick up, but... They had a brand new stand put in Superdrug and I saw these eyeshadows and I swatched some of the testers and I was blown away, absolutely blown away. And it is the MUA. They've got some little mini bite size palettes. This one's Neutral Wanderlust, which is this one here. 
do some swatches for you. You know I'm rubbish, so forgive me before we even start. <laughs> So there's the mats there and as you can see I didn't dig into that one very hard or anything like that and they came off like a drain. Let's do the two shimmers. Now these shimmers feel more like a cream. They are just something else. I've not actually used this one yet but I have swatched it but it's like really really creamy. So there's the shimmers there. You see that? Now, it's going to blow your mind when I tell you how much this one was. It was £3.75 for five shadows, and they feel awesome. To me, they feel... I know somebody's going to call me out on this one, but I'm going to say it anyway. To me, these feel better than the Elf Bite size. And I think the Elf Bite size... I don't know, four or five pounds, something like that in the UK. can't remember off the top of my head again. You know, anything like that, I will sort of put it on the screen in front so let's hope they perform as well as they feel so i'm just going to go in with my skanky fluffy brush it's all stained <laughs> and we're going to go into this lightest color here and we're just going to set the lid with that one today so how is everybody everybody doing all right we can say i'm off to see my mum this afternoon Anybody that's a regular here knows that I go and see my mum and me and my sister take her out every couple of weeks. So that is today. But I was up so early this morning. I thought, Do you know what? While I'm getting ready and I've got all this new makeup I want to try, I would just uh, bring you along with me this morning. There you go. So that's that one set there. It's looking all right. I'm going to say nothing, nothing major to see. So we're going to go in with this middle shade here, this like taupey brown colour. And we're just going to chuck that in the crease, tap off any excess. So yeah, see it's there straight away. Like I said, I didn't dig in too hard. I'm going to go back in again. As you can see, there is no fallout on this. None. Which is very impressive for such an affordable eyeshadow. Very impressed. I say, didn't want to do anything too crazy today, so I thought it's a good day to test out my MUA bite sized. That's looking all right, and that that's looking good. I think the other reason I think I'm going to prefer these over the Elf Bite. I've had a few Elf Bite sizes. I have got one now, and I've not used it. I've had several and given them away. I just, I think, for me personally. It's not that it's bad eyeshadow, it's just you need that extra eyeshadow. And I think that's where MUA has really come into its own and they are cheaper. I'm just going to build that one up just in the crease a little bit more. You know, I do find that I sort of get a bit stuck with the Elf Bite size. It's, I always want another shade, if you know what I mean. I always find that the four shades, especially with two of them being shimmers, isn't enough. I think if they've done four, three three of the shades mattes and a shimmer that goes with all of it i think you know i would like them a lot better but you know i, I think this is why i sort of chose this one because i thought for traveling as a nice neutral it'll be absolutely perfect so i'm just going to go in with my little fluffy brush and i'm gonna take the darkest color now it's a funny way to put my hand <laughs> Okay, it's going to be like that today. I'm just going to tap in gently on that one and just slightly deepen up that outer corner. That's it. I tapped in a bit too gently then. So I'm just going to just run that across three quarters of the way into the crease. I'll say nothing special today. Just a little summit summit. I'm a bit heavy handed on that side. So we'll just kind of match them in a bit. Let's build that one up just a fraction more. I'm just going to go in with another fluffy bl blush, brush even. Just <laughs> this one here. Can't talk this morning. I've been up too early. I woke up at half past four and I'm still wide awake just after five. So I'm like, oh, do you know what? Let's just get up 
make a cup of coffee, go back to bed, watch some YouTube. And then it was a case of the cats were yelling to be fed. So it's like, oh, fine, I'll get up. And I thought, well, I've got plenty of time before my sister picks me up today. So while I'm doing my makeup anyway, I thought, well, I might as well film it at the same time. So that's blended out beautifully. Like I say, nothing special and in your face. You could certainly build up that paler one if you wanted to. But like I said, you know, I'm going out and about today. So I didn't want anything too in your face. So I'm just going to take my flat little brush with my cat hair, of course. And I think I'm going to go in with the darker of the two. So I'm going to go in with this one. And I'm thinking, actually, my finger, because... It, it does feel like a cream so it isn't but it's like that um cream to powder kind of thing and i'm just gonna take that on my finger and look at that and i barely touch that and i think that's gonna work better yeah see look at that that is absolutely gorgeous right go pop the other one on That is so pretty. That is such a good eyeshadow palette. If you've got MUA anywhere near you, I tell you, these little bite size for £3.75, go grab some. That has gone on like a dream. That is absolutely beautiful. Now it's going to go in with some concealer. I haven't got a new one. So what are we going to go in with today? I'm going to go in with the NYX. Which one's this one? The Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Now I have no idea what shade this is in because I can't find it on here anywhere. But it is one of like the paler shades. And what I've been doing with this one, I've been kind of changing my concealer a bit lately. And I've been trying to use this one. I don't like the pump. Really don't like it. I want a wand. I really, really don't like the pump. So I've been trying to use, make myself use it. But it is a beautiful concealer serum. But you need the smallest amount. So I'm going to go in with literally, let me see there, that amount there. And I'm just going to dot that under my eye. As you can see, that tiny dot went the longest, longest way. Do the same on that side. Gonna try and get them a bit more even. So I've got too much out then. So just tapping that off on the back of my hand. Because I've got way too much and I barely touched it. Just going to run that under my bottom lip because I've got dark pigmentation there. So I do like to conceal that just a little bit. And with that leftover, we're just going to scrape that off the back of my hand with my finger. And pop it in the middle there. And again, back in with my Trusty Beauty Blender, and we're just going to blend that out. What I do like about this one, however, is how thin it is. You know, again, older skin, older under eyes. But I do like that it's a thin formula. So I'm lucky enough that I don't have the blue or the dark circles. So, oh, that's not marrying well, is it? <laughs> okay. Powder usually cures that. If I find they're not marrying very well, I usually find by the time I've put on some powder, that that usually will blend it through. But yeah, you can still see the line there. It's good. It's good. Powder will make that disappear. But I don't like it when it does that. It's like, I'd say some of them do it and some of them don't. And that one I find more often than not does, but I do know that by the time I put chuck some powder and that on there, it's usually good to go. Okay, so next we're going to go in with a bronzer. I did buy a new one. It turned up yesterday. Beauty Bay in the UK had a 30% off sale recently. So I've had my eye on it for a while. I don't need another bronzer. I really don't. But I haven't got a stick bronzer. <laughs> and this one, uh, Contour Stick by So Sue. I've been fancying this one for a while, and with the 30% off, I paid about 7 85 for it. 
Not bad, couldn't really say no. And I do pay for next day delivery like yearly. So that's kind of my treat to myself because if I'm using the makeup site, eight times out of 10 is Beauty Bay. So to me, it's worth paying. You know, the I think this last year I paid something like $7.95 for a whole year's next day free delivery. Why wouldn't you? Isn't it? If you're a makeup lover, why wouldn't you? All right, so I'm going to have to wreck that box to get that out of there because it, she ain't coming out. Now, I did have a little peek at it yesterday and a little tiny swatch, not going to lie. So, I have had stick sort of contours before, but they were like cheaper ones that I was trying out and I wasn't keen. So, this one's supposed to be really, really creamy. It's a case of, do you know what, I'm going to give it a go because it would be great for travelling. You know, so, like I said, anybody that hasn't seen my recent Get Ready With Me, I will link it. And, you know, this is why I'm looking for sort of makeup that's going to be travel friendly in that as well. So we're going to go straight in. <laughs> OK. Oh, wow. That did feel really creamy. So I'm just going to blend that out first because I don't know how emollient it is, but it did feel really good. You know, maybe this will. Uh... Wow. Look at that. See, because I've got a school cool up there. Because I've got a cooler skin tone, I do find that the contour colours are better for me. I'm not so keen on the warmer toned, like, um, bronzers and that on me. To me, it just doesn't really suit my skin tone. So I bought this to use as a contour stroke bronzer. Couldn't think of the word then. <laughs> Again, the cool tone of it you know i thought it's going to be really right up my alley so but that is blending out really really well that was so easy i understand now why people like sort of the contour sticks i think you know because i'd only tried one and it was sort of a cheaper version and it didn't really blend out terribly well i think that kind of put me off so what's that looking like it's looking all right, isn't it? Okay, so we're just going to do a tiny bit around my jawline, slim that down a bit. But yeah, I think I'm going to get on board with this. But again, <laughs> I shouldn't be buy buying any cream contour or bronzers or anything at the moment. I haven't got a stupid amount. How many have I got? I've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with this one, nine. But again, it's going to take me forever to use all those up. You know, it's a bit like me powders. I've got far too many. <laughs> but hey, hey, you know, it's always fun trying new things. And I did have a clear out recently. So, you know, I made some space. That blended all right. That's blended all right. Yeah, you think so? Okay, so really like that really like that so happy i decided you know to suck it up you know i'd certainly pay full price now i know how good it is so next we're going to go in back in with mua again now i've had this blush for ages and i've still not tried it it sits in my to try box and it because it's little it gets left to the wayside you know so i thought you know what today's a good day to try it it has got a wrapper on so now the trick is is if we can get it off use my little box knife so if I can just sort of make a slit in the top somewhere he's still shouting the odds and I can't get this undone
That word of a lie, that must have taken me three or four minutes to get that off. And I've still got some plastic on there. Oh, hang on, I can slip that off. Gosh, what a nightmare. There was no sort of, like, pull thing on it where you can just rip it down. Okay, so now we're finally in. <laughs> she can see it's still sealed. I've definitely not used this one. So I hope it's good. Let's pull that off. Right, what shade is this actually in? That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Misty Rose. Couldn't see it then for a minute. I said it's still, it's just getting light here in the UK. Okay, let's swatch that one. Oh, it's more of a peachy than a rosy colour, Look, it looks like to me. Okay, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. Well, what I think I am going to do is work off the back of my hand. Because I don't know how pigmented it is, I'm going to get that one, get me blush a brush, pick it up from the back of my hand. So I'm just going to take my, which one's this one, my Real Techniques, and we're just going to dab it in there. Like I said, I'd rather build up the colour than just chuck it straight on and it's way too pigmented. So I'm just going to stamp that on. That's a nice wash of colour, actually. Chuck a bit more on the end. Do the same on the other side, and then see if we want to build it up a little bit more. That's gone on really, really easily, to be fair. Oh, a bit much on my nose. <laughs> so let's just bring it up there, do a bit of lifting. Let's so get my beauty blender, just stamp over that one. But that is nice. I think that is a sheer to buildable coverage. But that is really pretty. That is really, really pretty. Again, I think that one's only about, I don't know, two and a half, three quid. So, you know, you can't go wrong. MUA have really upped their game. Like I said, you know, they there's a new stand at Superdrug with it and they've got a load of new stuff in. They really, really up their game. But they've kept the prices down, which is absolutely phenomenal. So now we're just going to go in and set me under eyes. Going in with my trusty Charlotte Tilbury. Of course I am. And a little powder puff. That's it. I'm just going to start on the outside and go inwards. See what I mean? You can see the concealer on that side, that next one. But now I've powdered, it's not really noticeable. So yeah, it does make a difference, but it does drive me nuts though that I can see that one. You know, and it's a case I've used it with quite a few different foundations and it still does the same. Whether it's the colour or I don't know what it is. But as you can see there, that looks a lot more normal. Well, for me anyway. <laughs> Now, for highlighter, before I go and powder my face, I just went in my drawer then to pick a powder to powder my face. And I glanced over and I, oh my God, I got a liquid highlighter. Got an order from She Glam delivered yesterday. And in that, I picked up one of their liquid highlighters. I put an order on for a couple of bits, um, this beautiful blouse that I wanted. And I thought, Do you know what? You know, last time I went on and I did my full face of Shein, which I will link down below, or virtually a full face. Couldn't get a liquid highlighter. So this time I could. So I'm like grabbing that. 
so let's have a look shall we let's say that one wasn't even open you just saw it was in its package right so what shade is this one in first and foremost vanilla frost so it could be very pale <laughs> okay beautiful beautiful component very much like their blush and bronzer oh that one doesn't rattle though when you shake it okay let's have a look let's hope it's not too pale oh i didn't expect it to be on a doe foot okay oh that's going to be way too pale for me yeah very icy white very icy white. it's really hard to tell online Right, I don't know if you can see, it's got a pink undertone. don't know whether you can see that. Hopefully you'll be able to see it when it's on my face. You can't really see that in the, in the camera lens. Okay, so we're going to be brave and we're going to dot it on our face. Now I know, at least I know now why it doesn't rattle. Okay, so we're just going to, oh, let's get a bit more on there. Scraped a bit too much off. So we're just going to do a couple of little dots. Oh dear, don't you do that. Did you see that? It wasn't going to blend then for a second. Uh, okay, I'm going to smidge a bit on my hand, pick it up with a beauty blender because I could see the dots there for a second and it worried me. So I'm just going to dot some on my beauty blender, so just like that, and then go in from there. Well, that's better. See, that's not so bad. That's better. Yeah, I was a bit nervous um, doing it the other way when I saw that the dots were still there. I was like, don't you do that to me. So I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And hopefully we'll be able to see that pink shift in it. That's all right. That is quite pretty. That is quite pretty. doesn't look too icy. When I look straight on, you can't kind of see it which is how I like it. It's a case of you turn your head and you go, oh, that's pretty. But apart from that, you don't want to be seeing it when you're looking straight ahead. You don't want to look like you've got these stripes down your face. So I've just chucked a bit more on my hand. I'm just going to, oh, that was a bit much. <laughs> oh, well, we're going to be very glowy today. It's all right. I need to powder down anyway, so no big deal. M might as well match that side up. Chuck a bit down my nose. Get my chin like that very glowy but it's not shimmery but I don't know whether you can still see that pink sort of undertone if i sort of turn my head whether you can see it or not but it is definitely got a pink undertone base to it um it's all right would it be a favorite um, i don't know i'd have to play with that one a bit more i think i think i'd definitely have to play with that one a bit more Let's see how it powders down. That, that'll um, be a bit of a giveaway. How it powders down as well. Make sure the lid's on on that one. So for today, I'm going to go in with the Jeffree Star Star Powder. This is in the shade Fair. I haven't used this one in ages. Oh gosh, it's right mess in the lid. So let's just chuck that on there. So my little fluffy brush. Well, bigger fluffy brush. Tap some of that off. And we're just going to powder that down. Be interesting to see how much of that highlighter I lose. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I'm going to say I don't put a lot of powder on these days. If I do, it's going to be more sort of here, my chin and forehead. But the rest of it gets a very, very light dusting. Keep chucking this all down me. Making a mess this morning. It is still early. I should have only just been getting up really but never mind okay but yeah i'm definitely covered in powder <laughs> all, down, all down my trouser leg tap a bit more in there make sure my neck's set it. tap it off over in the corner this time so set that contour under there just chuck that down okay
next we're going in with another she glam item this one is an eyebrow pencil again it's still wrapped so i haven't unwrapped this one And I've only got two eyebrow pencils because I got rid of so many of my eyebrow pencils. I thought, well, it's time to sort of add some more into it. And since I was doing an order on the Shein anyway, I thought we'd chuck a She Glam eyebrow pencil in. Because I couldn't get this one last time. So what shade did I get this one in? This lighting in here is terrible. I can't see this writing. 03 Dark Brown. Okay. If I can get it open. Well, the components lovely i like that so we've got traditional spoolie on one side and then oh that's thinner than i'm used to okay i hope you can see that there it's a lot thinner than the other ones that i've got uh, we'll see it's quite hard so the color's decent but it's very firm you hear that cat shouting outside? I don't know whether it's one of mine or whether it's the neighbours. <laughs> now that washed off really easily. Too easily. Mm. Always makes me nervous if I don't have to scrub at it. Okay, so. Let's just brush my brows up. As you know, I'm rubbish at doing my brows on camera, but we're doing it anyway. Okay, so we're going to go in as usual. Nothing exciting here. Actually, flip my mirror so I'm a bit closer. That's better. I can see what I'm doing now. Always have trouble with brows. So, um, hmm. I think it's one of those ones that needs to warm up a bit. Yeah, now I've got it going. Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Just brush that out. Well, it's all right. It's quite a decent colour as well, that. I quite like that. I was a bit worried it would lean a bit too warm. Let's just flip that again so I can see properly. But it doesn't. So that's always a bit of a worry with um, brow pencils. You're thinking, oh, please don't lean too warm. You know, like I say, I'm a cool-toned girl. I think you see, I've got a patch of foundation missing here. I don't know what happened there. Oh, that's weird. Oh, <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Let's just draw the other one in. Yeah, now it's got going. I think it just had a bit of a out exterior on that one but like I said I'm pressing very very lightly and the colour payment is coming off that look about even flip my mirror again not too bad a couple of gappy bits there let's just fill that in a smidge and brush it through That is not bad. I don't know whether that's not warm, is it? Uh, can't decide whether it's got a slight warm undertone to it or not. Let me down. Let me know in the comments down below because I can't make up my mind. <laughs> don't think so. So don't think so. Okay, let's chuck the caps on there. What I like about ones like these is the caps for either side. I hate it when the caps are different sized. It bugs me. Whereas with this one, I can pick up either end of the caps and it'll go on either end. It's going to go in with a tiny bit of setting gel. This is the BFF from the Beauty Crop. Been loving this one recently. As you can see, it's all got monkey colour. <laughs> but it's really, really nice. You know, I scrape off a lot of the excess off the spoolie because I've only got thin sparse brows 
so I don't really need a lot so we're just sort of pushing the front of it up a bit and just angling it out so I said I don't put a lot through it but that did wash off my hand too easily so I think it's just going to need something to set it in place anyway okay so let's go back and finish the eyes so we're going to go back in with the MUA palette I know I do my makeup in a weird order but this is the order I always do my makeup in <laughs> don't know why I just do it's going to grab me brush there it is so I think first of all we're going to tight line with the deepest brown So I'm just getting caught kind of my sort of angled brush. <coughs> Dip into that one, tap off any of the excess. And we're literally just going to go right on the top of that um, waterline there. Keep tapping off any excess. So I'm very good at dropping it down my face. Okay, so that's the tight lining done. And we're going to go back in now with that paler one in the centre. And we're just going to run that under our lower lash line. So again, back in that same brush. <laughs> in my cat again. <laughs> oh, he's very, very vocal. I have to see if I can get a picture of them and, and stick it up here somewhere. Because <laughs> if it, any of them shout in the odds, it's always my Gideon. Okay, just a little summit summit. And I'm just going to go with a touch of that dark brown right on that corner. And then we're going to blend it out. Just a little bit on that corner. And I'm going to go back in my little fluffy brush. Clean that one off because I forgot to clean it off earlier. And we're just going to blend all that through. And guess what we've got going on there so far. I'm just going to go in with that lightest colour that we didn't use earlier. I didn't use it on purpose because I wanted to use it as like highlighter. So I'm going to take a little flat brush on this one, just my little flat normal brush. Tap into that gently. So I'm hoping it's going to work well because it's quite creamy. And it has, it, it's chunky, but it isn't chunky. I know that doesn't make no sense at all. It looks chunky, but it isn't. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's, that doesn't quite sound right. I know what I mean. So let's just flip my mirror again. I'll see which side did I put the eyeshadow on just go back in again 
because I put such a little bit. So we're just going to run that over the brow. So I don't know whether you can see what I mean. It's not chunky, but it has got like little tiny glitter chunks in it. See, that sounded a better description than what I was trying to say earlier. There we go. So we're going to run that one under there. Just a little summit summit. And then we're going to go in with my little pencil brush. Same colour. I'm going to connect that one with the lid colour. And then just run that in the inner corner at the same time. Just drag a tiny bit under. And guys, looking pretty. I really like this palette, I'll tell you guys. Don't sit on this one. They've got Oh, now how many how many different colours have they got? Quite a few. I want to say anywhere between four and six, but they have got bigger palettes as well, and the quality is the same. And I'll tell you, I think I need to get some more. So for our liner today, we're going to go in with my trusty Rimmel Scandalize in O2 Chocolate Brown. Since we've got some neutrals going on today, you all know I love this one. So we're just going to tight line with that one. There you go. Has anybody else pull stupid faces when they do? eyeliner I'm terrible for it so you can chuck some on the waterline oh guys looking better that's looking a lot better all coming together now guys it's probably quite a long video today so if you're still with me thank you so much <laughs> anyway sometimes when you're doing kind of a full face I try and keep it sort of quite quite quick, but it doesn't always work that way. So, <laughs> okay, so for mascara, I've literally got three mascaras. I'll tell you for why, I decluttered so many and I just want to use these ones up before I start dipping my toe and getting some new ones. So my favourite I've been using, and you probably know this if you've been watching for a while, is the Telescopic from L'Oreal, the Extra Black. Still loving it. I'll tell you, it's nearly gone, but I'm still going strong on it. It's just beautiful. see that one coat can't go wrong can you chuck some more on this one yeah, that looks nice just going to put a little tiny bit more i'm not going to go too overboard going to concentrate it on the outer corner Kind of lift and open up that eye. Just smidging along there. Same on the other side. So yeah, two coats. Job done. And just going to chuck some on my lower lash line. There we go, that's that one done. Right, let's get all this foundation off my lips and we'll be back with lips. As always, I'm just going to go in with my lip balm. This is the Good Sarah. 
it's got all the ceramides and that in and it's petroleum free which is always a good thing so we're just going to chuck a bit of that on get some moisture back in my lips Now I do have a lipstick from um, She Glam as well, but I can't remember which colour I picked up. So it's going to be a surprise to me because there was two colours that I fancied and I just don't remember which one I got. So we'll find out together. Okay, it's in the colour 101 Chic. Doesn't give me anything away, so let's get it open. Like I said, the component comes like this. Lovely, sleek black and gold packaging, which is awesome. Oh, look at that. That feels really luxe. That is beautiful, and it's weighty. It's not cheap, even though it was cheap. <laughs> oh, I got the nude one. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's nice. Nice pinky nude. Oh, that's going to go perfect with my look today. There you go, didn't plan that. It was between this one and like a, ooh, similar to my Pat McGrath one. So let's swatch that one. It was gonna, it's similar to that colour there, that sort of purpley undertone. And I think this one's in, gosh, I can't read that. Is that you kidding me? Something Woman. I will get the name of it and I will put it in, in under here. Oh, she's creamy. That is pretty. Be better with a darker lip liner, not going to lie. All right, so that is so, so creamy. That is impressive. But yeah, it doesn't look like I've actually got lipstick on, does it? <laughs> Tell you what, we'll wipe it off, chuck a lip liner on and I'll be right back. 